Marcus Conti reporting before the big freeze. And I don't mean the temperature. So here we are. We're about 18 hours away from the big freeze, the social media blitz in France. Uh, the Yellow Jacket, Gilets Jaunes, are planning a bank freeze. Wow. A run on the banks. Damn. Who would have known, right? So, so um, I got to credit myself, right? Two, I started in November, right? I started saying I made like 12 videos, 15 videos, right? Everybody was saying, oh, Conti, you're crazy. There'll never be a revolution. What are you talking about? People are too lazy. People are too stupid. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know what's going on, right? So I started talking about this shit and the need for a, um, a soft coup by the people, right? And uh, a need for a banking reset, a credit reset in the, uh, in the world, in the U.S. Uh, mostly. Right? And people said, oh, it's crazy, never happened, right? But what's going on in France, right? It's happening, right? If you haven't watched the, if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, the Gilets Jaunes are planning a bank freeze across France starting tomorrow, uh, the 12th, the, uh, January 12th. So it, it's, it's more than just, it's the ninth week of the protests. And rather than going out into the streets and getting their heads cracked and, and uh, confronting police, they're starting to wake up to the fact that it is a financial crisis. See, it's, an, it's a process. People, it's an education process. Not every, every, people are easy. We're, it's easy to identify the problem. The solution is some, sometimes, you know, tricky, right? But there is a solution, right? Because I felt like yesterday I said, oh, banks are going to crash and People speculate, oh, there's famine and they're going to start eating their cats and their dogs and, 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 and shit's going to get ugly. Right? Well, there is, there's, almost always, there's almost always a remedy right around the corner. I found an interesting article I'm going to share. It's from uh, Truth Digs. This is really good. It's, uh, it's not uh, Chris Hedges writing it, but it's Chris Hedges' camp. Uh, I'll leave the, again, the link is down below. Um, so also, if you're if you're watching this channel on a regular basis, kindly consider becoming a Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, uh, self-supporting through our own contributions. This is this is all uh, this is if you want the message to keep to keep uh, resonating, uh, kindly consider a donation. The link is down below. If you're still a bootlicker, I, I know we're, we're starting to. We're starting. We got rid of most of the cunt faces. Now we got to get rid of. There's still a lot of bootlickers hanging on. Eh, you know, well, listen. You can criticize all you want, and, and I get it. Like this is it's complicated, and it seems counter counterintuitive and countercultural and and anarchist. But the the reality is, we're in dire we're in dire need of a new deal in this country, right? And no walls, and no kicking these people out, and those people out, and 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 uh, negotiating with with sleazy Democrats and sleazy Republicans and billionaires. It's not going to change anything. It's just the money changes hands. So I've said that 5,000 times already. So let me read this article, and uh, hopefully there's some good takeaways uh, for you. I, I mean, it's, it's kind of new to me, this idea of, uh, idea of, I said idea. Remember when Bernie Sanders said that? Fuck yeah. The idea of, puts New Yorkers, they put an R. I'm a New Yorker. You see, somebody asked me what this is. Yeah, it's, anyway, you know what it is? It's a it's a subway token. It's a subway. A subway. Right, it's a subway. Uh, New York City subway token. We don't use tokens anymore, but before they went obsolete, I grabbed one, like in 1997 or eight. I don't know. So it's good for one fare. Someday I'm going to cash it in, but for now I'm just going to wear it. I like it. It's no. It's not gold. It's it's cheap. Cheap, cheap steel. Maybe it's steel. I don't know. Use it for the wall. The future of consumer payments may not be designed in... The, so the article reads, banks are becoming obsolete in China. Which could, could the U.S. be next? <laughs> yeah. Right. So the future of consumer payments. Again, we're in the solution now, okay? We're not talking about death and dying and eating your dogs, right? We're talking about what happens if the banks freeze, people get screwed out of some of their savings, Right. And, and credit and mortgages and all this taxation and fucking whatever else you owe, student loans, right? We're going to scrap all that, right? We scrap all that, and this is where we go, right? 
They will love it, right? So the future of consumer payments may not be designed in New York or London, but in China. There, money flows mainly through a pair of digital ecosystems that blend social media, commerce, and banking, all run by two of the world's most valuable companies. That contrasts with the U.S., where numerous firms feast on fees from handling and processing payments. Western bankers and credit card executives who travel to China keep returning with the same anxiety. Payments can happen cheaply and easily without them. Damn right it can. The nightmare for U.S. financial industry is that a major technology company, whether one from China or U.S. giant, such as Amazon or Facebook, might replicate the success of the Chinese mobile payment system, cutting banks out. So in China, they cut them out, right? 90%, what was the statistic? 90% of all commerce, I'm getting to that. So China processed a whopping 12.8% trillion dollars in mobile payments in the first 10 months of 2017. Today, even China's street merchants don't want cash. Payment for, for everything is handled with a phone or a barcode. More than 90% of Chinese mobile payments are run through Alipay and WeChat Pay. Wow. They figured it out. They don't need, they don't need the banks in their pocket? I thought you need them. I thought they said we need them. I guess not. Alibaba created Alipay in 2004 to let millions of potential customers who lack credit and debit cards shop on its giant online marketplace. I, I thought I heard a snake. It's, a, it's, the, it's the heat coming up. It's 30 degrees in New York. It's cold. Both have flourished by making mobile payments cheap and easy to use. Consumers can pay for everything with their mobile apps and can um, make person-to-person -person payments. Everyone has a unique uh, code and transfers are free. Huh. Users don't need to sign into a bank or a payments app when transacting. They simply press the pay button on the ecosystem's main app and their unique barcode appears on the merchant to scan. Wow, it's easy. Right? The process takes seconds, moving customers along so quickly that anyone using cash gets eye rolls for slowing things down. <laughs> Damn. The mobile payment systems are a boon to merchants and their customers, but local bankers complain that they are slowly being driven out of business. Wait till tomorrow, see what happens. You fucking, see, you, you run them, you don't, you don't wait and negotiate with them. You don't create these things while they're still existing because they'll crush it. You crush them and then in the vacuum, in that power vacuum, this is what evolves. You follow? Alipay and WeChat have become a duopoly. All right, so there is a problem there. And I'll, I'll talk about that at the end, right? It's not that streamlined, right? You don't just, you don't just turn over all your assets to, to sleazy Amazon. I'll talk about that. Duopoly is a problem, right? It's only two companies controlling an industry, uh, and then they're and they're they're ultimately in bed with each other. Uh, so it's a duopoly that is impossible to fight, right? We have a solution to that here. Banks are often reduced to dumb pipes. Bankers are being dis dis disinseminated, disintermediate. Oh, oh, disintermediated, right? Meaning that they're cut out of the loop as the middlemen. If Amazon, Facebook, or one of their Chinese counterparts duplicated the success of China's mobile ecosystems in the U.S., they could, they could take $43 billion in merchant fees from credit card companies, bah, processors, and banks, along with about $3 billion in bank fees for checking accounts. In addition, there is a potential loss of money market deposits, which are also m migrating to mobile ecosystems, duopoly in China. That's a bad word, duopoly. I'm going to, again, I'm going to talk about it. In 2017, Alipay's affiliate Yaobao, Chinese name, Yaobao, surpassed J.P. Morgan Chase's man, uh, government money market fund as the world's largest money market fund with more than $200 billion in assets. <laughs> right? So they, they're, they're running, they're taking a run at at uh, at J P Morgan, right? 
So we need we need something like this, and, and it's it has to happen, right? It's going to happen in Europe first, and then we'll follow suit. And a, and a mobile ecosystem could could uh, challenge not only the payment system but the lending business of banks, right? It's not just paying. It's the, the now it, now we get into credit and lending. Amazon is already making small business loans, finding ways to cut into banks' swipe fee revenue, and competing against prepaid card issuers and it eventually has broader ambitions checking accounts small business credit cards and even mortgages appear to be in the company's sites right not amazon and if amazon will will public utility right we'll figure it out like community currencies an amazon style credit clearing system would be independent of of both banks and government uh, no it it has it can't be it can't be independent of government. It has to be declared a a, a utility of some sort, right? Now you'll say I'm a socialist. You fucking jerk offs. But the the Am but Amazon itself is a private for profit megalithic system. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Look it up. Like it like its Wall Street counterparts. It has a shady reputation. I know what that means having been variously charged with worker exploitation, unfair trade practices, environmental degradation, and ex extracting oversized profits from trades. However, both President Trump and the, on the right and Elizabeth Warren on the left are now threatening to turn Amazon, Facebook, and other tech giants into public utilities. Right. That's the way to do it. Right. Because once you once you privatize it then and and deregulate it, it turns into the same crap again. Quick, you know, guys like Amazon. You're going to trust Amazon to, to be honest? Come on. Right. So so you public you 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 create these. Uh, it could be a government created some kind of creation, or or uh, uh, you know a, a bank that folds like J.P. Morgan could run something like this, but under a different name. Those guys are going to need jobs, man. They're going to fucking... They, nobody has jobs. They're going to need some jobs. They're taking their jobs, right? We'll have a, we'll have a, a banker job fair, right? All the ex-bankers that, that are not in jail and uh, are out of work, we'll, we'll, we'll employ them in, the, in, a, in a federal program where, where we, we create a system like this where, where people can... Where, where there's a fair and equal system of commerce without, without you, know, you know, five and ten times the... Uh, the, the uh, interest rates, getting pounded with interest rates, interest rates, right? Killing people, debt. Right? Get those fuckers out of the way, right? This opens some interesting, this is the last paragraph, this opens some interesting theoretical possibilities. We could one day have a national non-profit digital ecosystem operating as a cooperative, a public utility in which profits are returned to the users in the form of reduced prices, Users could create their own money by monetizing their own credit in a community currency system in which the community is the nation or even the world. Now, look, th all right, so, so now, now bootlickers, bootlickers, right, the people that want to bow to the master and follow the, follow the billionaires down the, down, the, down the rabbit hole and wait, we're waiting. We're gonna get them. They're gonna. We're gonna jump out of a bowl of rice in China, and arrest everybody. Right? Right? It's not ain't gonna happen, right? But here's a here's a here's a legitimate system, right? So you deflate the banks. <sighs> ah, je les jaune, viva viva. It's not easy, you know. It's not easy, but we express it in simple yellow vest, right? And and now now if France can pull it off, they can show us. If they sink the, the, the French, if they freeze the French banks and they, they thereby uh, uh, make it impotent, right, it drags their leadership to the table. And who's, you know, w when the banks are frozen, the government doesn't have much of a bargaining chip. People will still, you know, yeah, it gets a little, it gets a little ugly and a little strange for a while, right? But, the, but power is then returned to the people. It's also like right now people don't realize it because they don't they don't know any different. Right now most people were were driving with it's like riding a bicycle with the brakes on. Right? You're riding along and you got you got your hand you don't know that the brakes are locked. And it's just like why is it so hard to move? Why is everything? Why is it? I, I thought that I paid all good money for this for this bike. I, and I, I'm I'm riding and and it it feels like like every every pedal is just such an effort, right? 
So when you when you blow out the banks like this, right, and and money then hits the real economy and starts to circulate again, not sit in some some rich guy's account in the Cayman Islands, or it sits in in money markets and stock holdings and fictitious places, right, that don't have anything to do anymore with the real economy, right? You you it's like releasing the brakes. When you get these guys out of the way, you try and try, oh, and then go, and you say, like, why is life so easy? Why is why am I moving so swiftly down the road all of a sudden? Right? That's what starts to happen, right? Right, almost immediately, almost immediately. When you, it's like getting the bully out of the room, right? When there's a bully in the room, it's disruptive. Everybody's quiet. Like, fucking, I don't. It's not that you're afraid of the guy. Nobody just wants to. Nobody wants to get involved with 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 the, with the crazy person, the 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 power grabber, the 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 bully. Right, and once you take that guy out of the room, you know everybody's like, "Oh shit, fucking, we love everybody. Everybody, we're in love. Everybody's everybody's friends again, right? Because you remove the bully from the room. So fear not. You know, it, it's uh, the French are very brave. The French have a history of revolution. In this country, we don't have any memory of history. We don't teach civics. People, we have too many people coming in from too many different places that don't know what the Constitution is. They don't know the history of a great nation." They don't. They, they don't know the founding fathers. They don't respect the 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 uh, the revolution in this country that occurred, and you know, in freeing ourselves from the British. They don't know our history. Right? Forty, fifty, a hundred million people, have kind of, you know, and and the, we have a corporate media that's owned by the very banks that we're talking about. The the uh, organization. So, there there is a solution, and there is a a uh, there is. See, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. You just have to keep moving towards the light. And, you know, it, it, who knows what it's going to look like. But tomorrow will be a, a very interesting day for the Gilets Jaunes. Uh, can, they, can they extract 20% of the wealth out of banks by simply simply taking their money out, withdraw, right? Go to the ATM, however. Start now. Do it now. Right? Take your money out of the bank. Right? And freeze the banks, right? It's massive. It has a massive effect on banking, right? And suddenly they're not so powerful anymore. Suddenly they're they they they're, they're reduced to to uh, to the little guy, and then the people become the big guy. Marcus Conti reporting.